terrible lighting, but I really wanted to get this film. So I'm going to do a, um, I don't know if that's better, a really quick hair tutorial for you on how to do a fishtail braid. Okay, so I already had my hair in a fishtail braid today, so it's kind of like kinky. But if I just let my hair naturally dry, this would be like, you know, crazy like this. So take all your hair and just pull it to the side like this. And then just put loosely, not too tight, but secure it with a hair tie. Um, my friend Emily would tell you that if you wanted to be like on par, you need to use a light colored hair tie if you have blonde hair. But I really don't care to be honest, but she cares, so I'm just going to throw that out there that she cares. So if you care too, then you can do it. So pull this like a little bit tight, like once you kind of have it in and like the side's a little bit loose. And I always just let like pieces fall because that's the way I am. But if you like it more neat, then you can slick this back and tie it or whatever. But that's just not my style. Okay, so for the fishtail braid, take two pieces two separate sections of your hair and divide it in half right down the center boop just like this okay then you take small pieces from the outer corners so like a very small piece probably this size and just cross over and gather it together with this and kind of pull use these fingers to like hold this part right here secure then take pieces from this inside part, from the outest, the furthest part, the outest corner of it, and cross it over and pull. And then just repeat. Take it from the outest corner and pull from the outest part and pull from the outest corner and pull while wow, you can really see like all of my dark hair I swear my hair really isn't this dark but maybe it is because oh, it looks like extremely dark <laughs> oh well so just repeat Then, like my friend Emily says, you need to secure it with like a light colored hair tie, a tan colored one, but I'm just going to do it with a black because I'm cool like that and I can do it like that if I want to. So just secure it like that. Just let your ends hang out. I just twist mine like this because I have like naturally curly hair so it kind of just like twists in. Okay, and then you just take, like, starting at the top, just pull and start to loosen it. And you can make it as thick as you want like that. So... And then these little pieces, if you wanted to curl them like with like a curling iron to make a wave, you can. It's nighttime around here, so I'm going to be taking off all my makeup soon and going to bed. Um, if you're wondering what I'm wearing on my lips, it's um, Revlon Cherries in the Snow. It's a really pretty color. It is like a cherry 
magenta e color. Um, ooh, my eyebrows. It's the end of the day, and they're looking pretty crazy. Um, so today on my eyes, I just did a very. Pl I had another color eyeshadow on today, and I just looked. I just didn't like it, so um, I just completely redid all my makeup. My eyes. I just have a light wash of sin all over my eyes, and then I have like a little bit of of a winged liner. So that's all I have. Nothing else, and mascara. Okay, well, that was just a really quick thing on a fishtail braid, and mine looks pretty crazy because all my dark hair is, like, mixed in with my light hair. And I know I've said this before, but I don't do anything. Like, I think this is, like, my natural color, unfortunately. It looks darker, like, right now in this video, so don't judge me. Maybe it's because it's night and the lighting is totally jacked up. Anyways, thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.